Hello everyone, it's John. Welcome back to the Pat Hipster channel. And today we have the second of the homemade flavors, Flavor Boost. If you're not familiar, this is Kraft Dinner, also known in the United States as Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. Both the Canadian and the USA versions um, are very, very similar, but they've come out with Flavor Boost, six in the in Canada, three in the United States, and now two on this channel by me. And this flavor is bagel and lox. You can see right in that picture next to the spoon is a bagel and lox. And I have attached this to a Ziploc bag that used to contain my homemade version of flavor boost it's supposed to taste like bagels and lox and i made it put it in this bowl here as you can see i'm not sure if the camera's picking it up but there's a lot of like seasoning speckles all around it um, if you're not familiar with lox it's a smoked salmon and you put on a bagel with cream cheese and certain other th ingredients um, I used what I deem to be like a stereotypical toppings of tomato red onion and capers um, the little picture that I found that I used for this fake label doesn't have tomato on it but I thought that um, the icon there fit the insert area so well that I would use it anyway. There you go. That's the label that I created um, and printed out. Basically just changed the name and put the little picture there. Anyway, I will have a video that goes more into depth of what's in here and how I created it. But this video is just going to be, be me showing you the product that I made and eating it, telling you if I feel like I've done a good job or not. And if Kraft should hire me as a consultant in the future and use my flavors that I've created. Anyway, here goes. Bagel and Lox Flavor Boost. There's definitely a uh, smoky, like smoked salmon flavor to this. Even the um, the ingredients that I use in here, even though they've been powderized and they're dried, some of them have really hydrated into this. And I'm feeling little bits of texture as I eat it. Do I get any uh, macaroni noises? Can't do a macaroni video without macaroni noises. So, the main flavors I'm getting from here are the salmon and the cream cheese, which makes sense. The biggest things, the biggest flavors of bagel and lox that I can think of is the salmon and the cream cheese. And then there's like subtle hints of like a pickliness, which is from the keepers. And then like a slight richness, which I think is from the tomato aspect that I added to this. Mm. 
And there is actually real salmon in this. Which you'll see once I get around to making that part of the video. This one is really good. As much as the ice cream one was really desserty, this one feels like a hearty meal. I'm not sure how much protein was in the salmon ingredients that added to this, but being a meat it has protein, so maybe I've made a craft macaroni even better nutritionally by adding the protein. Um, one serving of this by itself is 11 grams of protein. Um, Reading Canadian labels is sometimes difficult because some things have as sold and as prepared. Mm -hmm. It also doesn't say how many servings are in the container. You'll say it'll be more protein than I already had in there. I will say that this flavor boost kind of absorbed a lot of the residual liquids. So it is like a very thicker sauce. Although, even though it's like a thicker sauce, I would not necessarily call this dry. It feels like the wetness was more held in the sauce. It's more of a stickier wetness. It tastes exactly like eating bagels with lox and cream cheese. Not necessarily exactly, but I'm definitely getting a smoky salmon flavor. I'm definitely getting a cream cheese flavor. And then those other aspects, the onion, the tomato, the caper, they're in there. I don't know if necessarily you didn't know they were in there, you would detect it, but if you were told that this was bagel and lox flavor, um, and you knew those typically come on bagels and lox, you might be able to pick those things out. They're subtle, but they're in there. I think if you were told nothing about this, you would definitely get some kind of smoked salmon flavor. Whether or not you'd be able to pick up the cream cheese, I couldn't say just because it's Kraft Macaroni and cheese, it's already got cheese in it. So unless you're able to decipher specific powdered cheese flavors from each other, you might not be able to decipher this has cream cheese in it. But definitely tasting it before I added the flavor boost and after, I can tell that there's a difference in the cheesiness. It has more of that, the cream cheese is more slightly tangy. This was good. Craft America, Craft Canada, either one. You want this idea from me? I will freely give you this idea. Clicko Pro, you, I don't know, give me like a producership or something for it. 
put me on a commercial. Anyway, that's it for this Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Flavor Boost Bagel and Locks Homemade Edition. Um, before I leave, I'll have to do another dumb thumbnail face because I did it for the other one, so I want these things to match. So here we go. I have this here. Here where it's not, it's a little bit shadowed. So uh, it's not too bright. And I'm like this close enough so you can see what it says. My face um, in there enough. And it'll look kind of like this. We're like. <coughs> I hate myself. Anyway, like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.